the V65 Magnet. The reason why I thought this is going to be a good idea to talk about this bike is because it's very rare. You don't get to see those very often nowadays. This particular example is a 1984 model year, so you know it's a 30 years old bike and as you can see it's in amazing condition. Um, why do I think this bike is amazing and rare? First of all the engine. It's a, a four-stroke four-cylinder V engine uh, with 120 brake horsepower which is delivered at 9,000 revs. Uh, the bike delivers uh, about 95 maybe 100 newton meters of torque as well and uh, uh, all that power and torque is actually rather uh, higher than in normal cruisers. Uh, V4 engine derived from a Honda um, a Sabre. Please forgive me if I said it wrong, I don't know how to say it, but I think it's Honda VF 1100 Sabre, same engine, which was a kind of sports tourer. This is why the engine hasn't got a typical cruiser's characteristics. Obviously it's got some torque uh, down the bottom, but uh, if you really want to have some fun, you need to spin the needle up to eight, nine, or even ten grand. Um, what else can I tell you about this particular model? Uh, originally, uh, it comes from Canada. Uh, second owner, uh, from what I know, lived in Holland, and literally a few months ago, this has been brought to Poland, where we test the bike. Uh, so three owners from new, and it's 30 years old. That's pretty amazing, I think. Uh, the current mileage on this vehicle, 25,000 miles, uh, which supposedly is an um, original mileage, which is great news for somebody who wants to collect the bike and uh, have it forever. And um, yeah, really amazing piece of engineering. Uh, another thing that is worth to mention in the engine, it's uh, but it wouldn't be the best. And so uh, let's go further with amazing features of this bike. Uh, shaft drive. So, um, why would I say this is amazing? Well, first of all, the cost of maintenance. You don't have to spend money for chains or uh, uh, the belt. Uh, this is made for life. So all you've got to do about this is simply replace the oil in it and that's it. And so continuing with the bike, another amazing feature of this vehicle is the anti-diving system, which was uh, quite common in uh, late 80s, early 90s vehicles, not only cruisers and uh, choppers, it was all kinds of bikes. And what it basically does, it prevents bottoming out of suspension when you um, apply the, the, the brake lever very hard and uh, rapid. Uh, to be quite honest, that particular example doesn't work perfectly fine, because obviously the bike is 30 years old and it needs some servicing. However, you can feel the difference between riding this bike and something without the system, if you see what I mean. Uh, so that is a pretty neat feature. Um, continuing the specification of this vehicle, uh, 1100cc with six-speed transmission, which is very good for fuel economy. Um, speaking of fuel economy, according to my brother who rides this bike every day, uh, this will do in between six and eight liters per hundred kilometers, depending of, on the temper of your wrist. Um, shaft drive, which we can show as well, if you take a look down here, folks. This will be a kind of boring, but obviously for every rider, clocks are important. This is your dashboard, this is your instrumentation, you know what's going on with the bike. So what we've got with Honda Magna, obviously the speedo in miles per hour and kilometers per hour. We've also got the rev counter that goes up to 10 grand. Maximum power, as I mentioned before, is being achieved at 9,000 revs. So quite high for a cruiser. Anyway, what else have we got here? Obviously our indicators, uh, total mileage, trip mileage. Uh, all the kinds of uh, lights and fuel and uh, neutral. This is our gear indicator, which is a very cool feature because obviously sometimes you forget what gear you're driving on. And uh, engine's temperature, from what I know. Another thing, hydraulic clutch. And that's pretty much it. Very standard equipment. Last but not least, the comfort. Well, obviously we're talking about the cruiser, so uh, the principle feature of this bike will be comfort and presence and as you can see the seat is huge it's lovely bolstered it's very comfortable very plush uh, brand new leather and obviously the CC bar well this is really awesome that gives you so much support during hard accelerations um, to be honest this is the feature number one for me I left it for the end of the review but it's just absolutely incredible if you ride a sports bike you've never experienced anything like it you simply feel like an armchair uh, on the motorway, so a uh, great feature. 
Um, and that's pretty much it. I think I've talked about everything on this bike. I've mentioned the engine and the performance. Uh, top speed, this is something I didn't mention yet, and this is another surprise. For a heavy cruiser from uh, early 80s, you would say this is going to do probably 110 miles an hour. No, don't forget we're talking about 1100 cc and 120 horsepower. This is, a, this is an engine from a sports bike, so we're talking about 150 miles an hour. Six speed transmission, absolutely doable. Very torquey engine, brakes, not the best, don't forget, we're talking 80s, we're talking 30 years old bike. So, obviously it's legal, it does the business, but it's not a scorch. If you're thinking about touching uh, the road with your knee, that's not the bike for you. So, to sum up the review, who would I recommend the bike to? If you like classics, if you look for something different, if your budget is limited, if you still like performance, economy, and you don't want to mess around with things like servicing the bike too much, well, this is the bike for you. The prices, it depends where you live. In UK, I don't know, we're talking about two, maybe up to four thousand pounds. It depends on um, the servicing history and general condition of the bike. But definitely recommend it to the people I mentioned before. That's it, folks. Over now to see my next review. Hey, folks, I can't believe I haven't said that. The acceleration, the most important thing about the muscle bike like Honda Magna. And let me tell you something, this vehicle accelerates as a madman. 0 to 60 on that one in around 4 seconds. Let me just remind you, in early 80s, this was one of the fastest accelerating bikes on the planet. 